deputies are talking to several people. They were inside a pickup truck. That truck is a key piece of evidence in a deadly hit and run. A young man was hit and killed on A1A in St. Augustine Beach just before 1.30 this morning. Nikki's in the newsroom to explain how deputies were able to find this truck so quickly, Nikki. Well, good morning, Jen and Bruce. The sheriff's office says it was good police work. That was really the key to solving this latest deadly crash involving a pedestrian and driver who did not stop. Again, they are still investigating, still interviewing people that were in the vehicle that uh, they pulled over. So this happened on A1A at Florida Avenue in St. Augustine Beach. Deputies say they got a call about someone laying unconscious in the road. When they arrived, they found a young man and they started CPR. St. John's County Fire and Rescue then took that young man to Flagler Hospital, and that is where he was pronounced dead. Deputies say there was no car at the scene, so they alerted every law enforcement agency in the county to look out for any car or truck that had any signs of damage. Not long afterwards, and just three miles north, a St. Augustine police officer spotted a truck on Camaris Avenue that's near the Conk House, and they pulled that truck over. Commander Chuck Mulligan from the Sheriff's Office explains why. You know, uh, how you find that is uh, law enforcement officers with their eyes wide open at, at 1.20 in the morning looking for things that are going wrong, and they seem to see what they believe to be a truck that had been involved in a, uh, a recent crash consistent with what we have here, and in fact, we do believe that's going to be one and the same. So again, those people are being questioned this morning, the people that were inside of the truck. The truck has also been taken to the St. John's County Sheriff's Office so investigators can search for clues. The name of the man who was killed has not been released just yet. We'll be sure to let you know more on news4jax.com and also right here on the news at noon. Back to you.